Sairam everyone and welcome back to a political science class. We will be continuing with our revision. Revision of lesson. What is democracy and why democracy? Today we will begin with a new topic that is arguments against democracy or you can say disadvantages of democracy or you can say the merits of democracy. Shall we begin? Okay. In leaders keep changing in democracy and this leads to political instability. Now what is this? Absolutely right. In democracy leaders keep changing. And this change takes place through elections that are held after every five years. Five years in India. Now, every government leader had, they have their own plans, they have their own policies. With the change of leader, now this change has greater impact. It disturbs the planning of different policies or programs, you can say. The route to development keeps changing and this results in instability. So, it is rightly said, the argument against democracy is rightly said, that leaders keep changing in democracy and that leads to political instability okay we'll move on to the next one next argument against democracy and that is democracy is all about political competition and power play and there is no scope for molarity means what there is competition in democracy. In many countries, one like India, where we have multi-party system, we can say this competitions, right? Every party wants to win this election. Okay, they want to form the government. They want to govern the country. They want to come in power. This parties they want to display its power so in democracy when political competition is allowed where power play is allowed there is no scope for molarity this results in corruption crimes there is absence of transparency between the people and the government. We will move on to the next argument against democracy. That is, so many people have to be consulted in democracy and it leads to delays. It means in a democracy, many people are consulted. We saw while framing Indian's, India's constitution, lots of debates, lots of discussion. And it took nearly three years to frame the constitution. Same way over here in democracy. There's long discussion taking place. You know, debates are carried out. Decisions are not taken overnight and it takes time. This discussions, this debates takes time and so decisions are delayed. We all know that in a democracy elections are held. This 
elected leaders this is the next argument i'm talking about argument against democracy okay now leaders this elected leaders do not know the best interest of the people and this leads to bad decision now this may happen okay this may happen when the leader he doesn't have any um, political background or there is absence of knowledge he is not able to take decision the best decision in favor of the people right so now we will move on to our next argument against democracy and that is democracy leads to corruption based on electoral competition this point we can relate it to the second point right this point this point this argumental point we can relate it to second point that political uh, competition and power play we talked about it okay now as we all know every party wants to win election yeah so they adopt corruption as a means to win these elect elections or to come in power they don't use fair ways they use dirty tricks to win this election and so it is said the politics democracy leads to corruption okay now we will move on to our next argument in our last argument against democracy is ordinary people don't know what is good for them okay all are ordinary people you me we all are ordinary people there are those who are educated there are those who are illiterate we all are ordinary people it is this ordinary people it is we we the ordinary people who decides in democracy i'm right do you agree with me yes how we are responsible we ordinary people are responsible we follow universal adult franchise and according to it every citizen who is 18 years of age or above 18 years okay has right to vote irrespective of their their uh, gender their financial status their qualification caste communication religion nothing everyone has right to vote as a citizen of the country so ordinary people may not have proper knowledge of what is right Oh, what is wrong they are at times you know misled or misguided who by the contestant by the candidates okay and so the ordinary people should not decide any thing we have done with all the arguments against democracy let us go over this arguments against democracy once again the first one is leaders keep changing in a democracy 
and this leads to instability the next one is democracy is all about political competition and power play and so there is no scope for molarity a third argument is so many people have to be consulted in a democracy that it leads to delays a next argument is elected leaders do not know the best interest of the people it leads to bad decisions next one democracy leads to corruption for it is based on electoral competition and the last argument is ordinary people don't know what is good for them they should not decide anything and now we will talk about arguments for democracy or you can say advantages of democracy or merits of democracy we will start with the famine of 1958 which lasted till 1961 okay here is the map of china which was hit badly by this famine look at the pictures now they are the people who suffered and lost their lives yeah here one more and now children the subcontinent indian subcontinent or you can say the south asian region was hit by famine in 1958 as i told you it lasted for 3 years the 1961 it recorded highest deaths countries like pakistan india bhutan china bangladesh were badly affected with by this famine China recorded highest death rate and that was a history nearly 3 crores people lost their lives died in this famine it was worst let us talk about india and china during this famine during this famine let us see how both the countries tackle the situation many people of china lost their lives because of this famine but in india the impact was not that worst like china you know children when we compare the economic condition of both these countries it was nearly same economic condition of india and china was nearly the same even both these countries got independence nearly at same time okay you can say there was not much difference between india and china but 
the situation in both these countries that is the impact of famine was different in both the countries you know many economists they said that it was the result the reason for this difference in both the countries was the policies the policies that was used by both these countries the plans and policies used by china was not that effective see india was a democratic country and china was a communist country okay so the policies and plans which was used by china was not that effective whereas plans and policies that was introduced or implied in india were democratic and very effective indian government responded to this situation whereas the chinese government did not it is said that if even in china even china had multi party elections or uh, opposition party and also a press free to criticize the government then so many people may not have died in china situation there would have been totally different so we conclude that this was the success of democracy here we get our first argument for democracy that is a democratic government is better because it is a more accountable form of government if the impact of famine would have been worse in india then the indian government would have been held responsible for the situation and criticized for this condition to create a positive impact a democratic government works hard they are answerable to the people so a democratic government is better government and is more accountable children we have just begin with arguments for democracy we have seen the first one we will stop over you we will continue with our revision in the next session till then take care bye thank you